So we change our discussion now and uh, we go to our next topic. No? Our, our focus for this next lesson basically is not so much no, on covering the entirety of the fluid mechanics lesson because uh, fluids, no, uh, we can study fluids in two ways. Fluids that are simply confined no, in a container. No? Like let's say you have a glass of water, you don't you don't bother no, to drink the water there. You just let it stay there in the glass. That's a, that's a, that's an example of a particular kind of fluid. No? So the, the water inside is a fluid no, because liquids are part of this concept called fluids. No? So what, what, why, do they, what, why do we call materials to be fluids? Because uh, fluids is described as materials that flow. No? When you when you spill it, when you pour it out, there's a tendency for the material to to flow. No? Uh, like you will you will use some shampoo. No? You will pour some shampoo on your hand. No? Now you'll notice that the shampoo will not immediately go out no, right away, not like water, but it will eventually flow. No? There may be some degree of stickiness no? or viscosity no? to, to the liquid, but eventually it will pour out no oil for example you try to spill it no maula siya pero hindi siya as fast as how maybe no water flows no? so there are some liquids that are considered as viscous and there are those that are that are just no uh, simply no flowing freely no now aside from liquids or this suspension type of materials no that can flow no um we have also gases no gases can also flow no uh, they can they can they can uh, occupy no an entire space no now when when materials eventually flow no we classify them as fluids no so what are fluids again they are either liquids or they are either gases no? now again no? because of the broad nature of this this uh, discussion on fluid mechanics no which we can we can we can discuss about how they flow no or how fast they flow or no, uh, when they are simply confined in a container, no? say I have here a, a uh, drinking no? uh, container no? and there's a liquid inside. This liquid inside does not flow. No? Uh, we, can, we can consider them as no? uh, the water inside as uh, fluids that are at rest no? or liquids that are at rest. No? And uh, this is the only one that we can probably cover no? for fluid mechanics. No? So those those uh, liquids that actually no, stay in a container. No? Now, um, hydro basically is from the word water. No? Uh, so if we see the word hydro, no, hydroelectric, they always refer to water. No? So, But in general, no, if we call hydrostatics, these are liquids that are basically at rest. No? So maybe no, not, not generally in a fluids no, because gases may not be included here. No? But hydrostatics is generally you know, liquids that are at rest. At rest is usually you know, statics ang aton ginausar na term dira, you know, when it does not move. You know? So confined liquids like this, they have characteristics. You know? They have some properties. Maskin wala sila nagahulag. You know? Now another branch of this is when fluids eventually are in motion. You know? Now that one you know, is the one that we probably you know, assign you know, to those who will be presenting. You know? Uh, maybe some related concepts about it. No? Because again, no? if we will try to cover the entirety of the lesson in physics 2, no? I think we will we will run out of time. No? Uh, the, the extent of the lessons basically are just, no? uh, there are not quite a, really a number of topics to be covered. No? So I, I uh, requested no? the groups who will do no? the fluid mechanics part on fluid motion, no? To be presented by a specific group, no, but it's just merely a scratch of discussion no? or a surface scratch of the discussion there, no, that will that will mention about no how fluids are in motion. No? Now, um, we so we will we will have a general term here, no, of fluids, no, so it goes both for liquids and for no gas, no, so. Uh, they both flow. No? So uh, no? that, that's where we coined the word no? uh, fluids. No? So all materials that flow, no? like shampoo, no? like uh, 
the water in the bucket, no? like uh, the gas no? that you put in a container, and eventually no push in some in some pipes. No? Uh, we notice that when we have a cylinder of of uh, LPG, no? LPG no? we can let the gas in the LPG tank, no? the liquefied petroleum gas, to go to the burner no? of our stove. Kay naga flow ang gas, no? So there's a pressure inside that will push the gas out no? into the burner para nga magamit natin ng LPG. No? So natural gases are used for what? No? For producing heat. No? So uh, gases eventually, no? they eventually form. No? Uh, they flow. No? So usually materials that do not have their own shape, no? like liquids and like gases, no? and they follow the shape of their container, are are considered as the ones that we call as fluids. No? So we are surrounded by fluids all the time. No? The atmosphere is composed of gaseous fluids. No? Fluids are substances that flow. No? They flow under the influence of external forces. No? The molecules of liquids readily move around no? due to the weak intermolecular forces no? that are significant enough not to keep them together. No? Now you notice that uh, water, no? has some degree nga nag of the nice sila gyapon, no? So they can stick in a certain surface, no? E may ara, mga sila cohesion nga ability or ad adhesion, no? Nga pwede sila kapilit da sa kilid, sa container, no? Pero uh, their strength, no? Hindi din sila yung makahawiday like the solid materials that we have. No? But eventually, there's still some kind of interaction between the molecules, no? But rather, no, it's kind of weak, no? So, kung nang iba nga tubig na kapilit sa kilid sa natin container, no? But, however, not all of them, no? When you, when you lower down the water level, no? Ang iba nilang nga tubig ang nagapilit, but not all of them, no? Will maintain the same level, no? So, ano na, no? So, maybe gases are me medyo layuan ay pagin, no? Whereas, ang natin nga uh, liquids, no? Medyo nagasunod sila sa shape sa natin container, but they are tightly bound no to some extent no medyo lapitan ay gawa ang aton nga liquids no now liquids are non compressible kun ano na kadako ang ila volume hindi mo na, na sila pwede ma pagamay no so so if you will apply some pressure there no we can push the liquid immediately no so amo nang ginausar naton no we are using uh, a brake fluid no in our car no and we know that when we step on the brake, it can immediately deliver its uh, its braking power sa mga saroida na ito, sa salakyan, no? because the, the liquids will immediately no, be pushed no? kaya hindi na siya compressible. No? Now, if it's a gas, probably, then we have to keep siguro no, a high pressure in the gases no? para nga madusok mo siya. No? Because gases can still be compressed. No? So, you have to think about that if you use gas, no? as a kind of a delivery system no, for a braking uh, system in a car. No? So maybe not trucks, huge trucks use that. No? Now in gases, the intermolecular forces binding them are most almost negligible. No? So they, they are not even no, interacting with one another because they are already no, uh, distance away from each other. No? particles and then they randomly move no, in all sorts of directions. No? Some of them may be spinning in a corner, others may be no, uh, bouncing back and forth no, in, in whatever direction no, ang atin hangin. No? Now we can, however, convert this gas into liquids no, by maybe applying some degree of pressure or by lowering down no, its temperature. No? So na, no? they will now probably no, get nearer to one another and become a liquid. No? But they become a liquid when they reach no, their condensation point. No? So maybe by the action of lowering down its temperature. No? Now, due to the largely large distances between the molecules of gases, no, they are compressible. Okay? So, ang, ang aton nga container, kung ano na siya kadako ang container, mapuno na siya sa gas. No? Maskin gamay lang ang gas ang ibutang mo. No? Uh, so, the entirety of the container is obviously no, filled up by the gas. No? But as you increase no, and add more amounts of gas inside, then you notice that we can still compress the gas inside. No? Pwede ito pa siya mapadasok. No? Maybe that's not true. No? When, when a container is filled up with, with water, 
hindi mo na siya pwede dugangan kay maawas no? siya nga maawas na lang kung sige mo sulod no but gases no may be a bit different no maybe it will come to a point when the pressure inside is so high na malupok na lang na ang container pero ang gas natin generally we can still compress the gas inside no okay so the gas is there no in terms of our liquids no they ra they randomly no move much faster siguro no Okay, so medyo uh, ano yun, no? uh, kulagan ng ating ng mga gases. No? So again, no? this is our no? uh, gases no? and liquids, the two types of our fluid mechanics. No? Again, no? our gases, no? uh, they are... Uh, they are rather no medyo layo anay na sila gawa versus our liquids no our liquids may have no the the nature nga when they are they fill up the container already hindi mo na sila pwedeng dugangan no? you cannot compress and add more liquids inside no but gases usually no as long as maybe no uh, there's a way to get the gases get in the container you can still add no more gas no or amount of gas inside because gases can be no compress no pwede mo magasok no okay and this is how the gases probably are moving no they are very very uh uh ano ni no uh they they bounce back and forth no kahit again no? uh they they are very no far apart from one another no? every particle of our gas no is uh several no uh maybe no so there there's always a distance kept no in every molecule of our gas no so because of this distance we can we can add more no more amounts of gas inside no because the gas will the gas molecules will just simply no get closer to one another no if you add more so by adding pressure or lowering down the temperature maybe no you can add no more of this gas no so here are their movements no so gases move uh, more no more rapidly no? and maybe no some of the molecules there will be staying in one corner no and again no, the rest will probably not be moving no? so maybe no if you turn uh, a gas uh, a, a liquid water no into gas no so this is how they behave no so usually increase the temperature of liquid water not to turn it into a gas no so once there is an added energy to the molecule no because you increase the temperature and change liquid water to a gaseous state like a steam no then uh, they will be constantly moving no? usually now the temperature of our uh, the the temperature of our molecule no is also no uh, related to how they behave or move no? so i think no in the kinetic molecular theory no mas hulagan gibani ang gases no now we see that there's a uh, there's a single no uh, atom of oxygen here and maybe no two molecules of hydrogen on either side no? so this is the picture basically of our molecule of our h2o no? so maybe this is the gaseous form already no kasi naghulag-hulag na sila na now uh, one property of our liquids or fluids is that they have no Number one, no? density. No? And how can we, or how do we think, no? or how do we understand density? Density is how close or how far apart are the substances or particles of one substance. No? Uh, like, for example, no? uh, gases no? will always have a density that is less than that of the water no? because their, their particles are very, very spread, no? spread apart. No? Layo, layo. No? But however, no, you can add more molecules and make it more compact, no, and you'll realize that, no, you can still, no, uh, uh, make no the the molecules of one substance gets closer, and thereby, no, increasing its density. No? So the density of air, no, you can increase that, no, by maybe, no, changing it, no, to or lowering down its temperature and make their molecules, no, come together. No? Now again, uh, if uh, if we get no the density of a substance, then we are dividing the mass no, by its volume. No? So the unit of density basically is 
either gram no? per cubic centimeter or kilogram per cubic meter. No? So these are some common units of density. No? And uh, again, uh, how we picture out density is how compact no? is one uh, substance. No? Now, uh, let's, let's think of uh, weight density also. No? So if mass here is multiplied by the value of gravity, no? acceleration due to gravity, we will convert no, this value mass into weight. No? Again, no, M times G is weight. No? So if you add no, or include no, a, an expression no, called acceleration due to gravity. No? So multiplying mass with acceleration due to gravity will change it now to weight. And weight divided by the volume will now give you no, a big letter D symbol called the weight density. No? Now let's let's uh, look at how no, we understand density. No? Now let's say this uh, box here is around eighty grams, no? and its volume, no, by measuring it, is around twenty cubic centimeter. Maybe no, if it's a cube, then the sides there is multiplied together, side times side times side. Now supposing ang values ang iyang uh, total volume is only twenty cubic centimeter, no. So, pila yung density, no? So, ang yung density ka ron will be 80 grams divided by 20 cubic centimeter, no? Another way they write cubic centimeter is they use the symbol, no? CC, no? So, cubic centimeter mana, no? So, uh, that's another way of writing CM cube, no? You can, they, they sometimes write that also with the word CC, no? So, we have here 80 divided by 20, that's 4 grams, no? per cc or cm cube. No? Now, let's say that this uh, box, no, amuning una nga situation natin. Let's say now that we try to, no, uh, press it, no. Ngayon kita device nga pwede natin siya mapagamay, no. And successfully supposing now we were able to do that, no. And what happened, uh, let's say what happened is that, no. Ang aton nga material na no, nahimo na lang siya nga tunga no, ang iya nga volume by by pressing it no let's say we apply force no on both sides of the container and then eventually no reduce the volume no from 20 cubic cm to 10 no may let's say may amo na bigla klase sang device no pwede ya dasukon ang isa ka material bale no? so let's say we were we were able to successfully reduce the volume to 10 cubic centimeter. So, ano nakaroon ng iyan ng density? Will the density change? No? If its volume is now reduced to half, no? but still, ang iyan mass is still 80. No? So for the same mass, nag-change galing ang iyan volume na gamay. No? So what is the density of this material? Assuming, na parehas si isang material, pero nahimo, talang siya nga nadasok. No? Now, this time around, we will see that it will now have a different density. No? So this density now will become no, 80 grams per cc. No? Now again, no, uh, not all materials uh, are no, pwede natin mapasibli nga madasok. No? But assuming nga pwede siya natin madasok, so amunin natin pwede maubra. No? But generally, we can identify a material no, by its density. No? Like uh, if you want to check if it's gold, no, we can go and determine its density no? Assuming we identify a metal that is unknown, it looks like and it appears like gold, no? So what will we do to know whether it's gold or not? We can determine its density, no? So density is a kind of an intrinsic property, no? That is only, no? Um, identify ta lang siya sa ina na material, no? So one way to know minerals, no? Whether it's really that mineral or not is if we are able to determine its density, no? So an unknown material no, can, can possibly be identified by its color, by its other properties. But one of the properties that we really check no, is the density of the material. No? So again, no, one way to know no, a substance is by you know, calculating its density. No? So we'll realize that our material number two here, which we compress, no, is now denser no, than material number one. No? 
Now, I was able to pick up no at one time a meteor, no? Ang meteor again uyatan ko one time in aquat ko, no? It's just as large as my hand, no? Hindi ka man siya dako-dako, no? But when I hold it no in my in my hand, no? Lift it up. It's a black, no? Uh, uh rock, no? And they say it's a meteor, no? And when I hold it in my hand, it's quite heavy, bugat siya, no? It's only as small as my palm, no? Pero pag uyat ko, no? It's not like uh, any other stone that I've held in my hand, no? Nga gamay siya lang tawon, pero bugat siya, no? Do salsalon, no? Do a, a unique kind of metal, no? And that's the first time that I held a meteor, no? And again, no? Uh, uh, maybe, no? If I held another one next time around, then I may know, no? Okay, so meteor, gimanigali kayo do amoni ang nauyatan kuman last time, no? Okay, so again, no? The unique property of a substance, no? So again, no? Uh, we identify materials by by their density. No? So what's density again? Mass over mass over volume. Weight density is weight divided by its no its volume. No? Now another property that we know from our hydrostatics, no, or liquids that are at rest, no. Ang aton liquids nga at rest again. Number one, may ara siya nga density, no. If we have this container again. And there's water inside, it has density. Number two, it has pressure. No? Okay. So what is pressure? No? Pressure is the ratio of the force, no? And we divide it now by its area. No? So pressure is force over area. No? Usually ang inang force pa din natin siya malantaw as the weight, no? Managa duso sa sa isa ka liquid panaog, no? And ano nga surface or ang area ang ina consider natin? ang bottom part na na kung natawo nato ni may arak ni liquid sa sulod ng ining yellow container pa na by virtue of the the amount of the liquid inside may weight siya nagina ipit yan ni ang dalom na so the bottom part which is or something like circular is being pressed by the weight na so if you divide the weight by the area below you can get pressure na so usually what unit do we have for pressure so since it's force over area so that's newton per meter square. Huh? So I, again, huh? generally we have our our area here. Now huh? let's say this is the bottom part of the container. It's two cm by three cm. So its area is six cm square. Huh? Now if a force is pressed on the whole area here, na we may have a fifth, a thirty dynes na weight na naga na naga tung tung di sa babaw pila ang Pila ang pressure sa kada square na ini, na? So naturally, it will be divided, na? Tulong ako niya na karon, na? So kung ang 30 na tungtong di sa 6 ni nga area, so 30 divided by 6, ang kada isa ka box will now have something like 5 dimes, na? So the, the, the pressure is now distributed equally, na? To these surfaces, na? So that's how we, so that's how we understand pressure, na? So if you have a huge mass and then ang iyang area gamay lang no then ma concentrate tanan ang mass da no or ang weight dira no sa gamay nga area but if you make the area wide no and even though the ko na da ang iyang uh, force sa babaw pero kung ginlapad mong area then maybe no each area smaller area will now have no a lesser amount of pressure kay na distribute siya no so that is how we reduce the pressure no? by making the area wide. No? Okay, again, no? I think in some structures, parang hindi siya maguba, no? Ginalapta nila ang, ginadistribute nila ang pressure. No? So an architect, no, a good civil engineer will probably do that no? by distributing no? the, the value of the, no? of the pressure. No? And now going back to this, pressure is... Uh, is reduced no if you make the area wider no but if you make the area smaller no then you will increase the pressure no now imagine no? a lady wearing this no so it's a very pointed shoes no and let's say now uh, for some reason no you were you were taking the jeepney no as a jeepney and here's this lady that wears this kind of shoes no for some reason, nag-commute uh, nag siya. No? 
or nagsakay sa na sa mga bus na bala nga mga mga transport na bala nga nag-aagi sa buong no very very uh, na popular na goro kay ti aircon ay nga mga bus na for some reason or for some accident that lady that wears this no nat nalapakan niya ang tiil mo and at that time you were wearing no a slipper na nagasuksok lang sa sinelas and you commute no kag nalapakan niya ka no? what do you think you will feel no will you be happy or what no So what makes this not painful no? compared to a flat shoes? No? When this is the one that steps on you, again, the difference is what? No? It's what? Pressure, sir. It's pressure or the, the area no, of the shoes. No? So if the area there is too small, then it's going to be very, very painful. No? Okay? So um, you will also notice that no? when... When there's a needle and the needle is so small, it can easily puncture your skin. No? Dali lang na iyang magsulod ang dagom sa butkon mo if you are injected by a vaccine. No? It's a very, very small no, needle and it can no, it has a very high pressure and it can uh, no, get into your skin immediately. No? Okay? So kung dako na ang dagom, then dokol baan ka na. Kaya, siguro they will, you will have some resistance ang imo skin na. No? So again, I'm talking about area and the pressure it creates. No, they are inversely proportional. No, so again, force. If force is in newtons and the area is in meters, no, or meter square, then you could have newton per meter square as a as an answer. No, so a flat shoe is less, no, less painful no? because there's a wider area here compared to the pointed stiletto, no, or no, these high heel shoes, no. Okay, I think uh, we can also no, uh, safely say you know, that if the pressure is distributed, then we realize no, that uh, there would be no lesser uh, structure can survive no, if the pressure is made less. No? Now, here is a container. Supposing this container is filled up with water. No? Will the pressure in, in every level there the same? No? Is the pressure the same all throughout the, the liquid? No? And if it's not, now where is the pressure greatest? No? If we are to check, no, if the pressure inside is the same all throughout in this container filled with water, if I'm going to drill holes on the side, no, marked by these red uh, openings, no, I'll notice that the water that will gush out, no, will behave differently. No? So I think at the bottom, maybe the water comes out, no, but the water comes out no pero layo layo na iya malabutan no? maybe somewhere here no the water will be like this no this one no we'll have this one no? and this one simply shows that uh the pressure is not the same no? and how is it shaped no how is the pressure shaped no so you'll realize that the shape of the pressure is somehow triangular no that at the very bottom, no, there is a higher pressure present. No? So maybe this is how the pressure looks like. It decreases as it goes upward, no? as it goes higher. No? Okay, So somehow, no, the triangular shape. Yeah, no? So with regards to a, a kind of a diagram there about height, no? we see that pressure is affected by the height of the liquid no? so the height of this liquid is some no some variable no, that affects the pressure inside no? and uh, typically no what we notice is when when we have a container no and it is always filled with water and let's say the container is made of metal the the first part no of the container that is easily no punctured or dali gabok or mabuslot pag nagatubod ang dalong no we seldom see you know, that the container will leak no, somewhere in the middle or at the, at the top. No? So usually, no, kung may magabok na siya, ang una, ginada na mabuslot ang sa dalong. No? Because again, no, that's where the, the largest pressure probably is occurring no, sa may dalong. No? So, ano na, no? ang, ang behavior sa ngatan ng container. No? Now again, no, if we know that pressure is force over area, 
And maybe we can change force here by the weight of the liquid. No? And weight is mass times gravity. No? Mass times acceleration due to gravity. And if you divide it with area, we can derive and show no, that actually no, it's dependent on the height. No? Sang liquid ang atun nga pressure. No? Now, uh, density of the material is mass over volume. No? So if you will try to get the mass no, here, then maybe you know, what we need is to multiply density times volume. No? So density times volume. However, volume can also be expressed as area no, times height. No? So um, this is an area of a cylinder. No? So V pi R square H is the area, uh, volume of this cylinder. No? Now, what is the height here? Again, it's H. But what is the value pi r square? Actually, that's your area. No? So the area at the bottom times height is equals to the volume V. No? So therefore, if we will try to change M here no, with dV no, and V being AH. No? So we can actually have the value of mass over here no, to be actually density times area or times H. No? And we can substitute this value to m no? and multiply it with the acceleration due to gravity. No? Now changing m to dAh no? times acceleration due to gravity divided by still no? that value area, we'll see that area can now be canceled out no? because it's uh, the same value on areas above. No? Area this at the low, no? because we are referring to the same area at the bottom. No? So therefore, if that's canceled out, no? Then what remains to our pressure no, is simply no, H D times G. And once again, D, D is our no, density. No? So if D G, guys, no, is our weight density also, no, D G. No? So D G is density times gravity. No? So this is weight density on big letter D. No? Now we can also express our pressure in terms of height times no, the weight density. No? So D again there is weight density. No? So height of the liquid times the density of the liquid inside times the acceleration no? due to gravity, no, which is 9.8, can give you no, the value of pressure. No? Now the common unit for Newton per meter square is your unit of, of Pascal. No? So Newton per meter square is a unit called Pascal. No? And uh, that's one of the common units that we encounter also no, in density. No? Now, here are some sample problems. Maybe we can go to this no? uh, sometime later. No? But uh, for now, no? let's uh, have no, another principle first. No? So Pascal's principle. What is this Pascal principle all about? No? So Pascal's principle no, is, uh, is an explanation of no, why we... Why is that? No, that if a if a bottle, no, ang botilya sang coke or what, no, if you put no so much water inside nga na puno puno with sa kag i hampakon mong babaw, no, if you will tap no the tap no, say o abri ng babaw yung puno mo sa tubig, tapos i gold pi mo i hampakon bala, no. Sometimes no what what happens is that if the bottom of the container here is weak, mabuka ni siya ding sa dalum, no. But ang question is nga ama buka siya, no. What's with the topping there no, that caused the bottom not to break? No? And maula na lang yaunod, no? kaya nabuka ng dalong. No? Now, according to the Pascal's principle, and if it is explainable no, by this principle, no? now if we fill up a container no, with fluid up to the brim, no? and you maybe no, put a cover at the top, no? The fluid inside exerts a force no, at the bottom of the container. Uh, uh, again, no, may, kung, kung may ara, kita ding uh, liquid sa sulod, then because of the height of the liquid, may pressure na nasa dalong. Di, no? Now, kung yung takluban nato ng babaw, and suddenly, no, dugangan nato, isang pressure pagin sa babaw, that pressure ko no, nga gin-add nato outside, will now travel into the liquid undiminished. No? So kung pila na din dugang natin ng pressure, madugang na din siya sa pressure na daan sa liquid. No? 
So in doing so, ang total pressure na di karon sa dalong will now become no. Ah, uh, ang iya nga pressure P no due to the height of the liquid plus ang gindugang mga pressure sa gua no. So nagdako na di ang iya pressure sa dalong. Therefore, ang dalong niya na karon pwede na siya nga ma ma buka no. Ina ko nagdugang kasang pressure enough no to uh, break the bottom. No? So again no, uh, amo na no, ang ini ko nung uh, pressure nga ginadugang naton sa gua ma travel na sa di sa sulod sang liquid no undiminished no all in all parts of the liquid actually no so guys since ang pinakadalom galing ang may pinakataas na pressure no then that's where the part no uh, will possibly no give way no so amo na no uh, if we have no again no this pressure so the pressure here will go in all parts of the liquid no so amo na ding mga pressure karon sa kada portion niya So ang P sub O or outside pressure is added no in all parts of the liquid. But however, ang pressure diya sa babaw medyo lesser na kay gamay lang na da ang height sa ngaton nga liquid sa babaw na. So the height of the liquid affects no the, the pressure that is build no uh build inside the liquid na to. No? Now I think ining Pascal's principle is used no in some uh, uh ano ni uh sa mga hiligdaan na bala no I think in some beds for people nga may ara nga bed sore inang naga higda bala sa katre no kun ang aton mattress o ang aton katre is uh, made of spring no uh, ang uh, pressure nga gina-apply na sa aton lawas hindi pala rehas no but if you put a person in a in a in an air bed no or in a water bed ang pressure na da is distributed no the same sa lawas ang tao no? so ang iya nga lawas no will not suffer this ulcer no or this uh, uh, pilay kun tawag naton sa ilonggo no sa mga tao nga nagahigda na lang perme no para nga hindi sila mag suffer sa ina no sang daw bed sore nga wala tawon mo no naga nagalapad na siya nga nagalapad sa isa ka pasyente uh, for that to be avoided no they They apply no this uh, air bed or this uh, uh, water bed no. Kaya ano na no? Ang iya nga nature, so pressure sa lawas mo is distributed ang ang pressure. Not like a mattress no nga uh, may spring no. Okay, now this is Pascal's principle no. The pressure again outside is made to travel inside the liquid no and diminish all throughout the given liquid no so here's the uh, pascal's principle no uh, in a statement no and i just mentioned that no now in some hydraulic devices paano na tong masaka ang isa kasalakyan let's say we want to remove its tire no or when we want to go to some heights no ida kada permida no kun makakadto ka mo sa may mega world no you see some the equipments there that they used to cut no the leaves of trees nga tagas so they have a maintenance crew there no that uses this no it elevates the person no? inside or on the on the equipment and pwede ya malabot ang ang ano na ang street lights no if they want to replace no a busted bulb there no or cut some leaves of trees that are high no so many no so what's with the pressure here So if you apply no a pressure in this small portion of the jack no it will travel undiminished in this liquid no inside this bigger thing that now lifts the car no muna ya behavior no so gamay lang di ang imo effort no but that pressure that you develop here will go into the bigger liquid in the other container no? and therefore no without you exerting so much no effort you are able to lift a very very heavy object no so it goes the same way with this one no? so they they have uh, they call this device as a hydraulic no hydraulic pump hydraulic jack no that transfers some liquids no uh mga hydraulic press no hydraulic lift sa mga tali sa mga kuno bilang gasoline station when you change your oil no that's a hydraulic lift The braking system of our car is also using a uh, some sort of a hydraulic system there. No? So this is the tire probably it spins, then it is 
compressed by some liquid and then mapundo nakaroon ng imo nga imo nga salakyan no okay so may ara nadang nga disk nga ginapaipit yan no? so the pascal's principle na of lifting a car here no sa mga hydraulic lift sa gasoline station so this pressure here is made to travel now in all parts of the liquid in this bigger volume na na liquid na now the third property that we would like to mention is the SPGR. Now usually I we call this SPGR, no? short for specific gravity. No? So we cut SP and then GR here. No? So we have specific gravity. So specific gravity is a ratio no? of two densities. No? So kung bal antang density sa tubig, I think uh, the density of water na. No? So density, no? D, uh, small letter usually. No? So density of water, H2O. So we call H2O as our, as our standard substance no? or reference substance because it's available almost everywhere. Its density is one gram no? per cc. No? Or others would write that as... 1g no, per cc. Uh, another way of writing cc again is 1 gram per cm cube. No? So this is also another way of writing it. So this is having a small letter here. No? Um, we can write also the density of water as 1 kilogram. No? That's 1 kilogram for every liter. No? Of water. So if you fill a Coke bottle now with water, then you'll get a standard liter or standard kilogram. No? One kilogram of that water no, can fill up no, the whole one liter container of Coke. No? Or another value no, of water. No? So many atom reference substance, it's 1,000 kilogram. And I think now that's a cubic meter. No? So here are some standard values of our no? density of our water. So kung mag uh, pangita kita sang SPGR na. No? SPGR na. No? So SPGR is a ratio. No? So the one sa density atong ginagamit density of of a substance no and we divide it with the density of water no So wala na na sa unit no so this SPGR thing no is a unit less value So this is unit unit less no Wala sa sang available unit. No? So again, no? the, uh, you divide mo siya. No? Uh, I think another density that I know of is, I think it's the density of mercury. No? Are you familiar with mercury, guys? Familiar ka mo sa mercury na? It's the liquid metal. No? I think that's around 13.6 no, grams per PC, no? ang mercury. So, ang mercury bugat na siya kayo. No? So, if you will determine the SPGR of mercury, no? so, mercury, no? So, I'll just put a subscript specific gravity of mercury, no? HG. So, what will we divide here for mercury? We will divide the density of mercury, 13.6 no? gram per CC. And we are going to divide that with the density of water, which is one gram per cc. So density of mercury over density of water. Na siya, no? And therefore, what is our answer for the HPGR of mercury? Then we will see that we will cancel out no, the units here. No? Since the denominator is merely one, we will still get the same answer nga 
13.6, no? but no unit anymore. No? So it simply shows that Mercury, no? so if you'll try to compare the value no, of the SPGR there. No? So what does 13.6 mean? That Mercury no, is 13.6 times no? heavier no? than our no? liquid water. No? So if you put mercury no, in water, what will happen to mercury no, since it's heavier? Will it float or will it sink? No? Specific gravity. So again, the, the specific gravity of mercury is 13.6 because when we divide the density of mercury by the density of water, no, so that's how we get the specific gravity. No? So we can get no, a unitless answer of 13.6 which means that mercury no, is 13.6 times heavier than water. For the same, for the same size of mercury, now let's say uh, if you have, for example, no, a, a box. No? So if this is mercury and then you have uh, another substance here that is water, no? even though you have exactly the same dimension, you have exactly the same no, dimension. No? Pariha sila volume. But when you hold mercury, you'll see that it is 13.6 times heavier no? for the same size. No? Not like no, for water. So you don't have to have no, a huge amount of mercury to fill and make it. Uh, and, and you'll notice nga bugat siya. No? Because again, no, you need only a small amount. No? Okay, do you follow? No? So this is how we get no, the specific gravity. Again, please remember specific gravity is written as SPGR. Huh? So we can also use the no, mass no, of the substance. No? As long as now you have two equal volumes. No? So if you have an equal volume of a metal to the water, no, then if you are certain that their volumes are equal, then you can simply divide their masses. No? That is, if the masses are the ones that are provided. So we can use the ratio of the masses of two objects. No? One is the substance and the other one is the reference substance. You can use that no, as long as their volumes are generally equal. No? So this is another, this another approach no, to finding SPGR. But no? in sa denominator, that's always no, the the reference substance in the tubing. Yeah. Now, Archimedes principle is the last principle probably that we can think of. No? And usually, now we use the Archimedes principle no, in finding the specific gravity also. No? Now, what we observe is that no, when we weigh a certain object no, in air, its weight in water is quite different. No? Now, you notice that if this one weighs seven pounds in air, no, when it is submerged in water, you'll notice nga, manahimo na lang siya, four. No? Di nagkadto ang three, kilo, uh, three pounds. No? Now, somehow, we realize nga, seemingly, no, this object loses weight. No? Doon nagmag-ansa. No? Nga, four, four pounds na lang siya kung sa tubig or sa liquid. No? Whereas, kung sa hangin, seven pounds siya. No? Now, again, now we can attribute that to the thing called buoyancy. No? So there's always a buoyant force that will push this object up. No? Large ships will always float. No? Now, my question is like this. No? Which is heavier? No? A coin? Ang, ang isa mo na bala kasinsilyo? Ang piso na bala? No? Kung ang barko, di nang mas bugat? No? Your coin or your ship? So again, no, uh, reasons that they would try to to use, no, why the boat uh, the boat will float while the coin sinks, no, is that the the two have two different densities, no. The density of the coin is higher than the density of the ship, no. What what happened to the ship that makes its density small? We increase its volume, no. Ginda ko mo volume, no. Now when when the volume of the ship no displaces more water, no. Dako nang iya ang ginalaktang at tubig. Na compare sa coin, no? gamay lang na iyang area sang 
sang tubig nga ginalaptas ang coin. But if you are going to hammer the coin, make it very thin, no? Kaglapad, doon mo siya sa tubig, most likely the coin will also flow, no? So again, no? when you when you displace a huge amount of water, then there's a tendency that it can no, be pushed up by water more. No? There would be more buoyant force to push it up. No? So, paano mo na, Obrahon? Increase the volume of the coin no? once it is in water. Maybe no? the idea is to reduce its density. No? So, man, no? the, that's why ships can, can carry more loads no? because no, of its lesser, probably lesser density, kaya ang iya volume ng dako na. No? Okay, so again, no? but there's this thing. No? So why do we call this as an apparent loss of weight? No? In the uh, object no, that we now try to weigh in air and weigh in water. Because in reality, wala mo man aging buhina ng object. No? So apparently, it loses some 3 pounds. No? Because ang inang 3 pounds, amo na di ang amount of the water no, that gets displaced. No? So for example, amo na I, I will... Uh, I will have here a container, no? Now, when when I fill this with water initially, no? I'm going be on water level. No? So this is the height of the water level. No? Now, if the liquid initially was right here, no? When ang akon binga object nga ginto small, man yun, no? So initially, the object that I submerge are is sa hangin. So, how many water level? But notice, once I submerge it now in water, the water level will not stay in that level. No? It will now go up. No? Do you agree? Will the water go up here once you submerge something? Yes, sir. Okay, no? so how many displaced the tubing? Now, the amount of water that was displaced here, amo niya ang mag-cost ng ininga object will now become lighter. No? Kung pila ni sa ho, no? So, ideally, no? if this one is weighing 7 pounds in air, no? pero kung ibutang ko siya sa tubig, nag-4 pounds na lang siya, it's because no? the weight of the water that gets displaced there is equals to 3 pounds. No? So, this is what we call the displaced displaced water. Now the more water that you displace, no, then the lighter the object becomes. No? Do you follow me? No? Now again, no, I think in 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 submarines, no, para nga maglugdang ang submarine, no, they have to pump water into the submarine, may aran asal ginatawag na ballast, no. So once the, those ballasts are filled with water, then the submarine will now dive, no. Pag pwede na siya nga mag, no, dal magkadto sa dalom sang dagat, no. Once it will resurface, that that water in the ballast no, of the submarine has to be pumped out. No? As it is pumped out, then the water now, no, the submarine now becomes lighter. No? And then it will now rise above the uh, water. No? So again, no? how much is the water that is displaced no? or nag-awas? No? Ari kami ara, ni siya nga daw tubig. No? Ang, ang tubig, di, no? di siya nag-aawas sa daw iya nga are do mayara siya nga daw pipe no so initially wala pa na to smaw ang tubi wala nag-awas but as you submerge this object now the water gets out and the amount of water that was displaced outside no is equal to the amount no of the weight no nga na nga nagmagaan ang aton object dere no so that that's one no that's one thing we notice with archimedes no so archimedes shouted ano to ning shout ni archimedes Eureka, no Eureka, I found it, no? because he was uh, asked to solve some problem. No? So uh, the we call this as the apparent loss of weight. No? And again, uh, that's the end of our lecture. And again, uh, some view no, on the Archimedes principle. We have not really no, elaborated no, how the Archimedes principle is, no? but again, no, when an object is in water, it will lose weight no or it will become lighter no uh with the amount of the liquid of water that it displaces no so if you want to let it float more then let it not displace more liquid no